Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here to bring you a brand new Photoshop tutorial and today we are going to learn how to swap a background in an image and how to add a shadow to make it look more realistic. So just starting out here, you want to go ahead and open up Photoshop. After Photoshop is opened up, just go ahead and open up both of your files. So you want to get your person or image that you're moving and your background image. So um, in this first one, we just want to go ahead and double click on the layer and unlock it and then hit um, our quick selection tool just by the magic wand tool, the lasso and the um, perspective crop. But yeah, just grab the quick selection tool. It's also W, I believe. Uh, yeah, W. And then just drag around the parts of the image that you would like to keep. So this is pretty simple and straightforward for me since this is a pretty simple image, but for more complex images, it is obviously harder to get all the parts and not miss anything. That's okay because it shouldn't take too long. Um, so in this like demonstration, we're not really even swapping a background. We're just like getting rid of we're just adding a background. So obviously if I was just doing this for like this specific scenario, I would just use the magic eraser tool and erase the background, which I can still do. But if you are, if you have, if there is a background already in the image, you would have to do it this way, since it's much faster. So yeah, you just want to go ahead and select all around, and then what I usually do is right click and go layer via copy, and then shut off the visibility for the bottom layer. So this should show you exactly what you have and what you missed. So as you can see here, I missed this little part. So. I'm just going to control Z and just um, go over whatever I missed before. So that's good. So now we can just do it again. I would say that's pretty good. So um, I'm just going to right click on the layer thumbnail and then hit select pixels. Now this selects whatever we selected before and then I'm just going to cut it from that image and paste it into this image. So that's good. Now you just want to scale it up and down whatever with the transform tool. So that's control T for those of you who don't know. And just place them wherever you want them to go. So obviously this is a very realistic. Well it is a real photo so as realistic as we can make it, it'll still look pretty fake. But like if you're using an actual person, then this will work. So then what you want to do is just go ahead and unlock the bottom layer and then you just want to select the layer that you want to adjust and then go to image adjustments and you can play around with the brightness and contrast levels curves exposure vibrance hue and saturation all of these nice ways so what I'm gonna do actually is since Pikachu is a very colorful character I'm just gonna increase the saturation quite a bit and the vibrance on the background I'm just gonna lower the uh, brightness of him a little bit so he blends a bit nicer so that's good he could be at the beach so yeah you just want to play around with it until it looks as realistic as you can make it and then once you've done that you want to go ahead to your layer with Pikachu on it or whatever you're using and double click so this will bring up your layer styles um, box where you can add a bunch of these effects and different things so you want to go all the way down to the bottom and hit drop shadow so what a drop shadow is, it's basically, if you can see over here, this Pikachu, if you increase the size and the spread, you should see that like shadow coming behind him. So that's essentially what a drop shadow is. But what we're going to do is after we've created this, we're actually going to separate it. So we're going to right click over here, under layer 1, where the effects are. Under layer 1, under the effects, there's drop shadow. So if it's not there, you can just click this little arrow to open it up right click drop shadow and go to create layer and it'll give you this warning saying that some aspects of the effects cannot be reproduced with layers but it's okay because we know this works so that's good so now as you can see if you turn on and off the visibility for the layers you have a shadow and then you have Pikachu so they're both separate so then um, what you want to do is based off of where your light source is so since the sun is behind him in this scenario I'm just going to hit control T again and then hold down control so I can warp this image. Well, actually first I'm just going to drag it down. Then I'm going to hold down control and I'm just going to move it to the side and just adjust it 
to wherever he is. Uh, to add that nice shadow. So, since the sun is pretty far away, I think it's ideal to make the shadow longer. Um, and since his tail is closer to the ground, we can just pull it closer to him. But yeah, then that's about right. Um, we can just rotate it, just play around with the different tools. You can even go ahead and go to... Um, uh, what am I doing? You can even go edit, transform, and then warp. And you can warp the layer and move it around however you like. So yeah, just play around with the transform tools until it looks like it's a nice in a nice position. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope I helped. Another thing, just um, let me just throw this in. If you go to your shadow layer um, and lower the opacity, it might make it look a little bit more, even more realistic. So like that now. That looks pretty cool, like, um, as you can see when it was darker, it looked a little more fake since it wasn't really blending with the floor, but now you can see it's a very soft shadow since the sun is setting. Um, there shouldn't be a very hard shadow, so we can make a very soft shadow. But yeah, um, it's a really simple and straightforward task, but hopefully you can do some cool things with it. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.